Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It will be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? After I heard the case they made for themselves, I decided to let them escape. What are you saying? They convinced me that your accusations have nothing to do with heresy, and that their only crime was discovering historical truths denied by Teleme. And you gave credence to the lies preferred by these blasphemers. Their historical truths are nothing but nonsense fabricated to undermine the foundations of Teleme. The simple act to have proffered such horrors proves the fact that they are heretics. I fear that your youth and kind heart has blinded you, de Sade. That is a shame. I was expecting more from a young legate who seemed sensitive to our magic. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, de Sade.
So, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. I'm still without news of my cabin boy, but we will have to do without. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our, Thanks. Our, our, as others, are, it's how they... I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nord. Our ships are his home. And we are his only family. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a nought? Oh, how I would like my father to be implicated in this sordid business. Our old teacher must surely know what's going on here. Let's go talk to him. Yes? Well, how can your old professor be of service to you? I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there has always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord. And certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son because of some agreement signed between my uncle and the Nords? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. 
Come on now, stop lying. Jonas was taken away by force against his will by armed men. <sighs> that is not true. Completely false. He... Enough! With every word, you are a step closer to a prison cell. Prison? But what would be the charges? Kidnapping. Whether Jonas is your son or not, he is a naught that you kidnapped and locked up. In the eyes of the Prince, you have committed a crime that puts the interests of the congregation at great risk. I beg of you, Your Excellency. Have mercy on a poor mother who is looking only to recover her child. We didn't kidnap our own son. And if you need to speak with him to be convinced, please do. He's in our warehouse, near the Coin Guard Plaza, next to the canal. I am certain that once you have heard his account, you will see the tragedy in our predicament and help us. I regret threatening that woman. You didn't have a choice. She was lying and we need to find that boy. Be careful. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. A handful of underlings don't scare us away. Right, cousin? Let's just try to remain discreet. So, Desade, what are you doing here? I've come looking for your son. The Norts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Norts took him from us, but now we've got him back. And he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? You've taken your son against his will and have him locked up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? If I hadn't taken him back, he would have been hauled off on one of the cursed ships. If that's what he wants, then why would you want to stop him? For his mother. She misses him so. But in the end, you may be right. My boy has changed. He hasn't spoken a word to me since we've been in this precarious predicament. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell.
So it's here that our man keeps his son. Who are you? My name is the Sade. I am legate of the congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the knots. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother, then find your way to the ship. I'll see you there. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might... Visit. See you soon.
Green blood. Do you need something? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And I valued your friendship. But I thought you were referring to another kind of company. And to be honest, you and Constantine aren't exactly my type. Anything else? I must leave you. So, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I'm so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come now. Let's send them a hand.
so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. The beast! So eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full. So eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience.
so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been. So eager. To discover Tear Freddy. My isle, my new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long.
blood. How do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I had the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Green blood. Do you need something? I must leave you. Gentlemen! <laughs> Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I don't even know I am. That's certain. 